Alright guys, it looks like I got to move out of my place. I have a pretty nice uh, rental place, um, but it's uh, not working out so I gotta find a place. Um, this car kind of has to go, uh, maybe I, somebody wants it, I don't know, I'm going to try and see if anybody wants it. I'm going to pull as many parts off it that I could use. It's already mostly in pieces. Um, it's kind of in a crappy spot for an engine hoist, so I'm thinking I'm just going to drop the whole subframe and transmission, take off the drive shaft, and maybe... <laughs> I don't know if the trios will hold it, but uh, I, I bet you a few buddies could lift it up and put it on blocks enough to put uh, to pull the engine out from underneath. So I'm gonna give that that a go, I guess, and then I'm gonna put the subframe from this into that shell and this suspension and stuff like that. So it's a roller because it doesn't have anything in the front, no front cross member or anything like that. Uh, I'd like to get this one rolling so I can. Uh, bring it to the new place or bring it to some place to store it or whatever I'm going to do with it. I'm hoping to sell the red car. I kind of really want to keep it, but I might need the money to sell it. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so I'll be down to just the two Zs, um, both 86s, but one's an SF model, obviously. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's kind of late here. Uh, I just cleaned out a few bins, so I have some room to put parts. I uh, got a bunch of metal to go to, to we sell it scrap and then a um, bunch of parts to bring to storage. So yeah, this is uh, going to be a rush. Apparently i got 60 days to move. Um, I think I might have found a new place already, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, cheers. Alright, so i got the front bumper off and the fenders off and the uh, bumper bar, the rad. Um, got all the wiring unhooked. Uh, I don't like how this uh, these injectors are set up. Um, couldn't really get at the pins. I just cut the wires. Usually I um, you replace the injector connectors anyways. It's uh, one thing that has a problem with these cars. Um, so headlights are out. Um, pretty much all the wiring is unhooked except for the trans stuff. I want to lift it up a little higher before I crawl into there. I got to cut the exhaust a bit and then uh, take off these front, front uh, suspension pieces and then I can uh, drop the whole cross number. So should be good to go. Um, drop that down and then hopefully lift the car up over the uh, engine. Um, yeah, see. Okay guys, here's stripping parts. I got the whole front suspension set up off on both sides. Like I said last time, the engine is all bolted from, um, or unhooked, I guess, from up top here. Um, I have the rear lifted now and everything out of the interior. The only thing I want to take is the door mechanisms and the dash to go into the red car because um, I'm doing the great interior swap in that. Uh, that's the last thing to go in the red car. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to unhook the drive shaft and then kind of drop the tranny a little bit probably with the jack and set it on blocks and then I'll drop the <coughs> engine and cross member down in one. Um, I kind of was thinking about maybe hooking it up to here or something, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think I'm just going to get a few buddies over. We'll put the front bar back on or something. Well, I'll just kind of lift it up on these blocks and I'll just turn them the other way. And there should be enough clearance to drag the engine out. If not, we'll just lift it up a little more, put more blocks there. But uh, I've got lots of blocks at work, so yeah, that's the next thing. So just a few things left and I can lift that out and then I can take the rear subframe out, but I want to take the front cross member and put it on the black shell and I want to um, put the front four bolt hub and stuff on the black car as well just to get it rolling and then maybe I can take the engine and put it in there without the turbo just to get all my parts together for that. Um, yeah, so looking good. Alright, well, I got the drive shaft out and the exhaust out enough uh, to take the drive shaft out. Um, I got it way higher off the ground now, so I just needed to unbolt the trans and unbolt the front cross member and I should be able to drop the whole works down and then I'll get some people to help me lift it and uh, hopefully we can get the engine out. I'm probably going to put some blocks across and see how I can get it to hold itself up. Um, yeah, it's my first time trying to lift the car over the motor, but can't really get a 
I mean, I guess you could get an engine hoist in here, but I don't really have one anymore, and we're just going to give this a go. Um, so, wish me luck. Well, guys, I did it. The engine is on the ground. Um, I did forget to unhook the rack arm uh, that goes to the steering wheel. Uh, that kind of sucked. But uh, I think I destroyed <coughs> the end of the rack. I'm going to have to <coughs> inspect it. But the engine is on the ground. That's the main thing. So now I can get people to help me lift it over. So that's kind of my first time doing anything really this crazy by myself so it's kind of sweet to see it uh, on the ground so we can now lift the car up put it on a bit bigger blocks and then pull the whole engine and trans out and I can pull the trans off and throw it in the garbage because it's an auto mid Little daylight video, so yeah, engine, trans, and part of the exhaust system all on the ground. Just gonna lift up the car and drag it out. Mid. Okay, the engine and trans are apart. Move that over there. I can put the cross member into that car that's under the shelter and get it rolling. Uh, I'm probably going to be trading the red car this weekend. We'll see. I might get a Jeep. But uh, yeah, I can just come along to the Rios to lift the engine, separate the trans and the cross member. So yeah, now I'll just figure out how to get it back down, load it up into the truck, and bring it to storage. Mid. All right, well. That's it. The engine is in the back of the truck. This is the backup engine for the drift car. Um, for when I blow it up, it's an NA from an 85, so it should bolt right in there. Uh, with a GLL model, so I probably won't need some of the sensors that are on it. I'll just uh, swap the intake and put on the headers, and it's pretty much going to be the same engine. Um, it's only got 90,000 kilometers on it. It has an auto oil pump. I don't know if that matters in the earlier years. I know that the turbo auto oil pump actually works better than, you know, the NA ones, but uh, I have the transmission there. I'm going to remove the bell housing and get rid of the rest of it because I don't need the auto. So pretty much <coughs> is, uh, is dropped. So I, uh, I just jacked, <laughs> I, I li lowered the whole cross member and I actually put it back into the black shell so I can get that rolling. Um, I lowered the engine and I had come along it from a post over there, um, you know, out and then I actually come along it up and it, this actually held, this is a big tree house, I don't know if you can kind of see that but it's a pretty big tree house. Uh, I used to come along I lift that up and then me and a co-worker um, lifted it up and put it onto a tire and we drug it over to about here and then he manned it me and one other guy He manned it up into the truck and then strapped her in so I take that to storage. That's ready for backup um, The only thing left on this shell I want to take is the rear shocks and probably the axles and the diff um, Those are just gonna be backup things and then I can bring the cat in make some money back on that and hopefully maybe somebody wants a crossover pipe, but uh, just got uh, these tires mounted too. I got two sets. I'm ready for the drag strap or right <laughs> anywhere for when the drift track opens back up. So pretty stoked on that. Um, got a little bit of garbage to figure out, but I'm moving. So um, I had this car up for sale or trade. Still kind of waiting on that, but uh, I might end up keeping it. I do love it, and it needs a little bit of work. Um, I also need to take the filler neck from this and the dash, so I hope I can get to that. My uh, buddy might actually take it with a uh, high ab, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, so engine pulled, dropped it, pulled it up on the treehouse. Pretty redneck, but you know, <laughs> it worked, so mid.